Okay, in this lesson, we want to do such a this uh, interesting uh, flower and the petals assign the moist line and we have full control to our flower. We can turn it off for a moment. As you can see, you have full control to your flower. You can change any angle that you want. Nice. You can do a flower's uh, motion graphic like this. Interesting. You have full control to curve, to the bend, anything that you imagine in your flower. Let's do that. Okay, let's begin. This is our petal that we created from a simple polygon to subdivision surface. It's very easy. I bring it there. So first, we need a, uh, we need a moist line to create our petal. We need a moist line and let's create it and change it to create our deform uh spline <clears throat> so let's begin first sorry okay we can go to the simple uh, the length is nice we have to play with something like bend we want to bend it okay uh first in a bend simple bend i want to uh, bend like this exactly follow my mouse <clears throat> as you can see if you bend it 100 percent it bends in, in its first position that i don't want that uh you can uh, define the bend deformer uh, like this i don't want to come back to in its uh, first position as you can see it's uh, it means this slope it means no at the end, I don't want to you 100% go to your uh, this angle. It means go to the first point. So it does not match the first. Then I don't want to. Uh, you can play with a minimum, as you can see. The, this is a bend that I want, and don't maintain the angle. Yeah, as you can see, I don't want to maintain the angle. I can bend it more, bend it more, play with them to achieve your goal. Nice. And now I have this nice bend. So I don't want to maintain the angle. If you maintain the angle, as you can see, it's, you have something like this. You have to <clears throat> turn off the maintain angle to achieve this nice curve for moist line. Now, after that, you can play with the segment. For example, we have this segment. Uh, uh, play with the, this angle, as you can see. And of course, this angle. And then this angle. I think, nope. Uh, I think I have to rotate it. Because as you can see, it's rotate among this angle. Okay. Oh, sorry. It is. Why does it back in its position? Oh, I think uh, this angle is not good. This angle. I need this angle and the segment. As you can see, you can play with that. Nice. Need more segments. And no, this angle is not good. Change this angle a little bit to uh, come back inside. If you add a segment and then more angle, as you can see, it rotates in itself. Nice. After that, you can play with this. No. I think, yeah, you can play with this angle in a negative number. So to simulate something like this and change this angle like this. 
we want to the petals rotate in itself as you can see it's rotate from here there nice <clears throat> okay it's very simple and as you can see we have a lot of spline that we have to assign this petal to this so uh remember this number here you can copy and paste it and turn it off for a moment and uh, right click to zero our all of our angle and now we want to assign this okay so for this uh spline here i copied to remember the number because if you assign the object to that uh, it's, it's something confusing to make that object uh, make that option so i can use a spline wrap as i said before spline wrap to wrap object on a spline okay the spline lab first ask you which object do you want this subdivision surface because this subdivision surface has its own child you cannot make a child you have to alt g group them and as you can see automatically <clears throat> assign to that but you learned uh, the former before you can refer to the previous lesson the direction of the spline wrap is very important yeah you can go to the spline wrap yeah this direction is uh, along the object it's nice and the spline wrap ask please which uh spline do you want to i wrap on it so this more spline number one and as you can see it's completely wrap on this one now you can control it nice you can go to the feet or keep length i prefer keep length that's nice or if you want you can keep length of that now let's change the sitting of that go to the moist line yeah uh, step is nice you can add a step to more smoother yeah it's better as you can see this is an step so for a bend more bending and nicer you can add a step it's number nice uh, our petal is 35 yeah 35 uh just want to this angle you can control c then control v yep then this angle <clears throat> in here nice and then this angle here and nice as you can see you can play with the angles and animate them we have a nice flower you can play with the angles as you can see you can animate interesting things nice nice as you can see you can do anything with these angles and play with them open it close it play it exactly motion graphic here or you can change the band anything that you want because you have full control to your move spline it's nice or you can hide your move spline to see your flower interesting Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.